Hello everyone, Joey Sparks here. This is your reminder, God's mercies are new once again this morning. Paul says this, Romans 15 verse 4, For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. This is a beautiful sentiment that is wrapping up this discussion from chapter 14 about the strong and the weak. That the ultimate example of how to bear with one another is Christ. And Paul references Psalm number 69. And consider what he does when he quotes this, this part of that, that psalm. The psalm says, The reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. So Christ says, Those who sinned against God, sinned against the Father, I take on me. Their reproaches. Now Paul's been talking about issues that divide that are disagreements, but they're not inherently against one another. They're differing opinions, uh, differing opinions based on Scripture even, but they are not directly sinning against one another. And he even says, don't do that, right? Don't judge each other. That would be sinful. Don't set a stumbling block. Don't try to do what you want without regard for them. That would be sinful. But the pattern is that Christ took on the full reproach that we are responsible for, and he bore those reproaches on himself. And so then he says, verse 4, that statement that we are quick to apply about the Old Testament, and certainly it does apply. That's what Paul is doing. He's saying, look back to Christ who fulfills the Old Testament. So too, we need to look back at Christ, and we need to look back at the Old Testament for our own endurance, yes, but also for endurance in light of our interactions and relationships with one another. Because it is challenging, we keep looking back to these heroes of faith who figured out a way. Who figured out a way to, as much as it depended on them, to live peaceably with all. Because God's goal is to bring Jew and Gentile together, that we with, verse 6, with one voice, might glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's because of that goal, verse 7, he reminds them, again, you welcome one another. It's Christ welcome you for the glory of God. So whether it's meat offered to idols or some of the holidays they were practicing or whatever the specific issues they were facing or whatever the issues we face today, the goal should be to welcome each other because Christ has welcomed us. And we do it all for the glory of God. We have so many examples, the scriptures, ultimately the example of Christ who does just that. We do thank you for your time this morning, for your devotion to the Lord. It's our prayer that the timeless word of God will be your meditation all day today. Look at this morning.